block is part of our £50 million Pioneer investment programme where we're developing the most innovative workspace in, in our cities. The idea is that we're embedding six key pillars into our design and part of that is sustainability and biodiversity and we thought that because of those two key pillars, the blue-green roof would fit perfectly into our black ambitions. The idea of this is to set the principle that Brantwood and United Utilities can look at this roof to see how successfully it's running, they have the data, and then also with the Manchester Council is to actually influence future development to use these types of systems as a way of adaptation to climate change. We have to work out our calculations so that the water discharges ahead of the storm, which is different to every other project, which generally discharges at the same time as the storm or after the storm. So the idea would be that the smart system, this roof will be empty when the storm comes and has that capacity to take the storm without any discharge, which is reversing the current method of design. So what's been installed today is the Pemvoid squared system with passive irrigation cones. Pemvoid's ideal because it's a shallow attenuation system, so load on any roof is a very critical thing. With a retrofit roof, your parameters are set, so we have what we have in terms of the roof's ability to handle the load of the water that it will have on here and the substrate itself. The beauty of a blue-green roof is you don't need a lot of outlets. Your whole aim is to reduce the amount of outlets you have. So a lot of the outlets in this room have been converted into overflows and the ones we don't need have been blocked. So today is a really busy day today. We're, we're laying the wildflower mats that's been grown at a site in Sheffield. This has been cultivated for about 12 months and it arrived today on a pallet and we've got it on the roof as quickly as possible. It's a very hot sunny day today so we're laying it on top of a, a layer of substrate which we've specially selected and laid last week and then we're watering it in to make sure that the wildflower gets established nice and quickly. A blue green roof like this can also help improve the biodiversity of the area where before there was nothing, we've now created a meadow in essence in the middle of the city and this is going to help pollinators, bees, butterflies, even birds actually have a small habitat where they can go get food, uh, maybe even nest. And one in particular, the blue butterfly, which Manchester's really trying to attract back to the city. So it's really important to get the substrate and the plants exactly right on a green roof because it's, a, it's an extremely harsh environment. We've got a real mixture of loads of different plants. So we've got wild yarrow here with the, the lovely white flower and you can see the bees and butterflies are loving it already. We've also got sedums based at the bottom and we've even got some nice Mediterranean style herbs. So that's a, a real nice mixture of all these different species. So why the PolySync system is so smart is the fact that this level data feeds straight into the Kister's cloud. This live sensor data is then connected to the weather data. This is then fed into an optimization, and in that optimization, we're working out how much water should be in this tank based off the rules set. We want to capture any kind of heavy rainfall events, hold that water up, and basically reuse it when we get droughts. At United Utilities, in the northwest, unfortunately, we do face times of too much water and also too little water. Something that's really important to us is, quite clearly, securing water sufficiency and improving wastewater capacity. To see the transformation is amazing today, because when we came, it was just a, another roof space. It was just very grey, not a lot there. It was just a space, quite frankly. But now when you go up today and you see the transformation, it's no longer a space, it's a place. You know, it's something that's beautifully biodiverse. It's something where people can go and enjoy the health and well-being benefits as well that Blue Green Infrastructure provides. So it's just fantastic to see. It's really important that more initiatives like this happen. Personally, I'd like to see it become more and more mainstream. How do we make it that this sort of thing is considered in all building works? You only have to look at what's happening now in Greater Manchester. You see there's an awful lot of building works going on. So it feels like a fantastic opportunity. We can't always just build our way out of trouble. So opportunities like this help us think a little bit differently. It ticks you know, lots of different boxes, right through from mental well-being to energy performance to biodiversity, you know, to supporting or reducing the effects of climate change. So there's lots of different things. If you can do it, why wouldn't you do it? <laughs>